John Berthal would walk alone for hours with a backpack full of weights up and down the Brooklyn Bridge so he could experience the same isolation and pain that Frank Castle, aka the Punisher, did. I think it's pretty safe to say that John Berthal was fully committed to his role as the Punisher, and in my opinion, he was the perfect casting. John pushed himself not only physically but also mentally to prepare for the role, spending every moment he wasn't filming in the gym fighting, lifting, and training with weapons. I'm Paris Demers, a full-time personal trainer and online coach, and I'm going to be breaking down everything you need to know about John Berthal's training for the Punisher, and then I'll give you everything you need to train just like him, including a full training plan based off of his style of training. Like I said, John Berthal takes his role very seriously. He wants his performance on screen to be as realistic as possible, so to that end, he did extensive weapons and fighting training. John has said multiple times in interviews that the Punisher is a character that has resonated with the law enforcement and military communities and means a lot to him. So he feels a great pressure and responsibility to get the character right. That means he needs to be able to handle himself in a fight and with a weapon. He actually did most of his own stunts for the show and once even broke his hand halfway through a fight scene and just ignored the pain so he could finish the scene off. What a badass. So after hearing all that, it'll come as no surprise that John Berthal is no stranger to pain and conflict as he had a pretty rough past before becoming an actor. He's broken his nose 14 times in street fights and he actually landed himself in jail at the young age of 17. Since then, he's cleaned himself up and started a family, but you can tell there's still some darkness there that makes him perfect for the role of the Punisher. So John spent most of his time training for the Punisher with his stunt double and friend, Eric Linden. Oftentimes, they'd get up as early as 4 a.m. to be able to fit the gym into their busy schedules. John understands that he needs to look good for the role of Frank Castle, but to him, his training is more about being able to handle himself in a fight than just having a ripped six-pack. So to that end, he trains his full body for performance and injury prevention. So let's go over how he would structure his workouts. He would always start off with the big strength movements, squats, deadlifts, bench press, and he would typically do five sets of three heavy reps. Then he would do a handful of different bodybuilding movements, all supersetted together. Think things like pull-ups, lap pull-downs, dumbbell incline press, RDLs, etc. Then he'd finish off with some metabolic conditioning, which would usually last for 20 minutes, in which he'd do as many rounds as possible of about five or six different full body movements, like pull-ups or cleans. Then later on in the afternoons, John and Eric would do boxing and jujitsu workouts in between scenes to make sure that they're moving on point. If you're aiming to not only have the physique of an athlete, but also perform like one, this is exactly how you should be structuring your training. If you're going to be doing strength training and conditioning in the same workout, it's smart to start with the most demanding compound movements, just like John does here, then hit your less intense bodybuilding work, then finally use whatever energy you have left to hit your metabolic conditioning. Now, this isn't the most optimal plan if your only goal is to build muscle. For that, you should go check out my video on Chris Hemsworth and his training for Thor Love and Thunder, but if you're looking to move well while looking nice and lean, stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to be sharing a full program I designed based off of John's training. For his diet, he stuck to just lean meats and vegetables. He didn't follow this diet just to get ripped. Actually, a big part of the reason he chose such a restrictive plan was to get into the head of Frank Castle. He wanted to deprive himself of the joy found in big cushy meals and just focus on foods that would fuel his body. This man is 100% committed and I love it. That being said, there's no reason for you to be this restrictive and Unless you're also prepping to play a Marvel anti-hero. What I would recommend if you want to look and perform like John is that you eat just above maintenance calories by about 200 to 300 calories a day while trying to aim for 0.8 to 1 gram of protein per pound of body mass. The reason for this isn't just so you could build muscle but also so you can properly perform and recover from the intense workout plan that you're going to be following. That being said if you have quite a bit of weight to lose then I would recommend eating about 200 to 300 calories under maintenance while aiming for the same protein goal. Since you have extra body fat to make up for the calorie deficit, your performance and recovery shouldn't suffer, and of course, it'll also help you lean down. Now, here's your four day a week training split structured just like John's training. We have the big compound movements first, then the bodybuilding work, and finally, a full body athletic circuit at the end. If you're new to the gym, feel free to just do day one and day three, and then work your way up to four days over the course of a couple months. Go ahead and leave your questions down in the comments, like the video if you want to see me cover more Marvel actors, and subscribe for more celebrity fitness.